so today i'm going to discuss with you on how to actually uninstall the windows 10 latest version of 2004 that has been installed on your computer so let's say you've installed windows the latest version of windows has been installed on your computer and you come to, you come to realize that you are having some issues or problems with this latest version of windows because in my workplace we have realized that some users uh, after the latest uh, after the um, latest update of windows which to the new to the latest version they were not able to actually map network drives some of them could not even install printers anymore but it's actually among i think the five between the five to six hundred computers that we, that we updated just about four or five um, computers we're having this problem so what what we need to do we need to actually reset their computer so to actually on on uh, uninstall the um the future update of windows which was installed on your computer first of all let me show you the version of windows i'm using here you can see i'm using the Microsoft Windows version 2004 or SBUD 19041. So if I go to my start menu and here I go to settings, in settings I go to update and security. And here if I go to view update history, you can see that a future update to Windows 10 version 2004 was actually installed on my computer. But if I want to actually recover go back to a previous version of computer like to the version of 1909 which was um, the version of this computer before it was updated so what you need to do is you you need to go to in your um, in your settings on our windows update update and security go to recovery and here in recovery you have different options it says if your pc is not running well we can reset it but here we have the option it says go back to the previous version of windows so if this is this version is not working for you try going back to an earlier one so let me just tell you something this here i have the option to actually do this because um, i have updated this computer and it's still within a 10 days frame so you have the option to actually go back to a previous version within 10 days and mind you after 10 days you will not be able to actually go back to a previous version of your computer you will need to either reinstall the computer or you need to actually maybe uh, reset your computer to actually solve that problem so let me click get started right now so it says going back to an earlier build so it's trying to get things ready let me just pause this video so that we can have the also okay see it doesn't take more um, time to actually display the options we need so you say why are you why are you going back say so my apps and our device and don't works on this build earlier build seems to easier to use so we have the option to actually choose let me just say for other reason and click next you say before you go back try installing the latest update this might face the problem so microsoft is actually giving you some other option as well to actually see if you can still remain on this um on this build of windows future to make sure that you install some other security or critical or, accum or cumulative update to actually fix your problem well i'll say no thanks let me just go to no thanks and i want to actually continue so what what you need to know this might take after going back you you will have to reinstall some apps and program you you will lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build so just click next if you use the password to sign into your previous build make sure you know it you won't be able to to sign in without it so click next and here you say thanks for trying out this build so what we want to do is just to click go back to an earlier build so here you can see the computer is being restarted so i'll wait for the computer to be restarted after that we will see that i'm using the c003 and we see that our computer is going to go back to a previous build here you can see that we are receiving the message say restoring your previous version of windows so mind you this can take some time because the previous version of windows that was installed is more than one gigabytes of software so it may it will take some time for it for, for it to roll back to the previous version of windows so my computer has restarted um uh, by going back to my previous update 
uh, or a previous version. So let me just log on to my computer and show you what happened. So um, here we go. Let me just go to the start menu and or let me just do the following and see which version I'm using right now. You can see that my computer has now gone back again to the previous version, which is 1909. So if you're having issues or you're having problems with your the latest version of Windows you installed, mind you, you only have within the first day you install that version and the 10th day because it's, it's, it's a 10 day frame that you have to actually go back to the previous version. So if you don't do it between the 10 days and you try to go back, the, the option will be actually gray out. It will tell you that you don't have the option to go back to the previous version. Let me just go to the start. Let me go to my settings, update and security. You know, on our recovery is where I have the option to go back to the previous version. Right now, I don't have that option as well so because this computer was installed with a version of 1909 so if i go back again to my uh, update and security here and i click check for update so what is going to happen is the computer is going to check if i have i need any update or if any updates are needed on this computer so at the same time it may also check and again <laughs> install the latest version which is the 2004 version uh, future again on this computer but we can as well pause that update for like if for example you think you just want to pause the update for some time for like um do you think you have the option for like seven days or you want to actually let's go to uh, the advanced option you can say pause this for like 25 days or more you can say um let me say pause update so you can pause this update for like 35 so you can select a day you can just scroll down and select which day you want to put to, to till when you want to pause update for for being installed on this computer so just mind you that you have that option to actually pause the update to be installed on your computer here you can see right now i have the security uh, security intelligence update is being installed but you can see now it's giving me the option again to actually install the windows 10 version so right now this is going to be actually there except i click download and install because this is actually a major update it's not actually it's kind of um just um a security or cumulative update so it's a future update which is going to change some things on your computer so that's why it's giving me the option myself to actually download and install that's an update that just install automatically but for example if you are using like vasus to install the update if you are using vasus you send the update to the user computers so the user does not have the right to actually control that update and you give a deadline you say okay or the update should be installed like after like 10 or 15 or 21 days and after that 21 days the update begin to install the user does not have the option to actually pause or stop that update so I just hope actually that if you have you are having problem with your computer and you want to go to a previous update this video has been of a great help to you so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and my name is kelvin johnson and also please try and give me some like for taking my time to create this video because you know i try i just use i use most of my free time because i'm working as well work, i'm doing a full-time job so i use most of, most of my free time to actually create this content so please try and give me a thumb up like my videos and also you can also as well share my videos leave comments or if you have any question concerning windows and desktop windows operating system you can send me an email to kjocomputers at gmail.com and i'll reply as quick as possible you can as well check my check my link my linkedin profile you can you can also send me an email send me a send me a message through linkedin and check my linkedin profile and i'll reply to you as quick as possible so if you think there's any chance for improvement on this video or my previous video i've been doing also please also don't forget to leave a comment and i will also actually reply to that as quick as possible and i will hope to see you next time on my next video and so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and see you next time Bye.